Hey. It's me. No, 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 no. Wait. D don't close the door. Please. I know I'm the last person you want to see right now. But I really, really need to talk to you. Please, I'm, I'm completely serious. <sighs> Look, I'll say what I need to say, and after that, if you want me to get out of here and pretend I don't know you, that's what I'll do. I promise. Please. It's raining, and I'm soaked. And I came all the way here just so I could talk to you, and... I can't leave until I explain to you why I broke up with you so abruptly. Well, if you don't let me in, I'll just wait here by your door until you feel ready to let me in. I'll probably get hypothermia and die, but whatever, I'll wait right here. In the cruel and cold heavy rain. Ah, thank you. Um, excuse me? Um, can you give me a towel? I, I don't want to get your floor wet. Okay. <coughs> you didn't need to throw it on my face, but thank you. Can I sit? Yeah, I figured you wouldn't let me sit on your couch. It's alright, I can do the standing up. First of all, I'm sorry for coming here like this. I know I don't have the right after what I've done, but I really need to tell you something. And I'm sorry I said all that about being cold and being soaked and getting hypothermia and dying. I didn't want to make you feel like you had to let me in. I just said all that because I was trying to be funny and... Uh, okay, right, right, okay. Straight to business, I see. Okay, I can do that, it's alright. I, I can do that. <sighs> so... I came here today because I want to explain exactly why I broke up with you. And I also want to apologize for it. For hurting you. Do you remember the night that everything happened? Yeah, we were at the party and everything was great. It was the first time I went to a party after a really long time and I was surprised with how much fun I was having. I got out to the dance floor and I went looking for you and I saw you talking with some guy. A tall, muscular, really handsome guy. You weren't touching him or even smiling at him, but I just, I just felt so jealous. So insecure and pathetic all of a sudden. I had to control myself to not go there and start screaming at the both of you, you know? After that, I went straight home, packed my things and... Oh. Left you and they broke things off by text and I blocked you. And... I'm so sorry that that I have no excuses. And what I did was irresponsible, immature, and downright cruel. I know I inflicted a lot of pain on you because of what I did, and after I came to my senses, I regretted it so much. Hey, hey, no, it's it's not your fault. It's mine. I I swear. Please don't cry. I, I hate to see you cry, and I hate it even more than the one who made you cry. I hate myself for what I did to you. 
everything that's happening right now, it's on me. I'm responsible for your pain, and for my own pain. I came here because I want you to know that you didn't do anything wrong. You're not the reason I broke us up. I'm the reason. I have problems. Do you remember when I told you that things ended badly with my ex? At the time, I didn't give you any more details, but I broke up with her because she was cheating on me. I caught them at the act. At a party. The guy she was cheating on me with was tall and handsome. Just like the guy you were talking with that night. The guy looks so much like the one my ex was with that I panicked. Decided to run away instead of talking to you and getting them clear. So many terrible feelings and thoughts came rushing down upon me, and I just felt so overwhelmed by them that I had to get away from that scene. And by doing that, I hurt you. And I'm so sorry for breaking your heart like that. You didn't deserve that. I know. I believe you. I know you weren't cheating on me with that guy, I know you guys were just talking, but at the time my mind couldn't process that. I am really sorry for what I put you through. To be honest, I had to prepare myself a lot to come here to talk to you. I was really scared to see you again, to see the hate and sadness in your eyes. but. I, I, I wanted to do the right thing and be responsible for my actions, so here I am. Yes, I know I should have talked to you that night. I, I just couldn't bear the thought of you doing something like that to me, so I uh, avoided you. I know, I know you would never do anything like that. I know you are completely different from my ex. I know all that. You never gave me reasons to be suspicious of you. I got paranoid all on my own because of what happened in my past relationship. I look back at what I did to you and I feel so much hatred towards myself. If I could go back in the past, I'll punch myself in the face, I swear. Don't laugh. <laughs> I'm serious. Hey, if you're laughing right now, does that mean you forgive me? Yes, yes, I understand. Of course, you're still angry about what I did. I just thought that maybe we could start again. You're afraid I hurt you again? What did I do to you? I'll I was so scared of being hurt like in the past that caused you to feel the same. I did it to you exactly what I was afraid of happening to me. I'm so sorry. I, I can't believe I left you scarred like this. I, I, I knew I made a big mistake, but I didn't realize how big it really was. I, I can't believe this. I, I, I'm the worst. I'm so sorry. <laughs> There's something terrible. I'm sorry. No, I, I don't deserve your comfort. I'm the one who should be comforting you right now. You didn't do anything wrong, and I caused you so much pain. Only now am I seeing that what I did will mark you for a long time, maybe for the rest of your life. And maybe it will affect your trust in other people, your future relationships. I'm sorry. <laughs> the fact that I've gone through some emotional trauma is no excuse to do the same to you. Please, don't try to defend me. Don't make excuses for me. I don't deserve it. I see now that we shouldn't get back together. We're both hurt and need time to heal. And maybe we will heal better if we're away from each other. 
I, I, I have to go now. I said out all I want to say. I realized how big of a mistake I really did make, and I will keep my promises to you. I'll act like we don't know each other. I, I have to. I'm, I'm so ashamed of myself. I can't even look at your face. Please, just let me go. You forgive me? Really? But you, you don't need to. I, I understand if you don't forgive me. I don't think I deserve it. I, I see. Yeah, you're right. Forgiveness is an important step to healing. Therapy? No, I never thought about it. Then maybe, I, maybe I should have. This wouldn't be happening right now if I seek help before entering another relationship. It would never damage you like that if I seek therapy. <laughs> yes, I'll do it. I... I don't want to risk hurting another person again. My family, friends, you. Finally doing the right thing. Oh, I'll ask for professional help. Yes, another important step for healing is asking for help. Together? You want to go to therapy together? Wait. Does that mean you want to give our relationship another chance? Oh my god, I'm so- Oh my god, thank you. I, I thank you, really. But I feel like I don't deserve it. What if your fear becomes true? What if I hurt you? No, of course I don't want to. I only want the best for you, I promise. Yes, yes, let's work on that. Let's do our best in this relationship. I'll do my best to only bring you happiness. To be more communicative and to be more trusting. I'll give you all I have. Thank you so much for this chance to make things right. I love you so much. God, I missed you. How could I ever let you go? Oh, so stupid, my love. Um, I'm so sorry. I know, I know, but I'm still sorry. I'll be better. We'll get better. Yes, together. Everything's going to be okay now. I love you. I truly, truly love you. <laughs>